Hey, what's up, Aquamigos? Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new here, my name's Tobias. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, it's been about a month since the last video that I've uploaded, and I'll talk a little bit more about that near the end of this video. But what I'm going to show you in today's video is the latest raccoon attack on my ponds, which I caught on my security cameras. So shout out to Uniark for sending me these cameras. I have one over here, and I have another one over here. So I'm kind of able to get the whole area in here. All right guys, so here's the security camera footage. As you can see up in the top right, the raccoons are kind of coming out of that bush up there. You can kind of see their eyes glowing, which is pretty crazy. But um, yeah, just, just really quick guys, I just wanted to mention, as you can see in the upper left of the screen, this footage is from November 26th. So this footage is like, you know, over a month old. And like I showed you earlier, I do have two security cameras out there, but it turns out that Back in November, I only downloaded the footage for one of the cameras. So today, I actually tried to go back into the DVR and download the footage from the second camera, but the DVR had already recorded over that footage, so I, I totally lost the footage from that second camera. I'm still kind of learning how to use this security camera system, so yeah, that's, that's kind of what happened there. But uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, the, the raccoons are just walking directly on top of that pond netting. It's it's pretty crazy. They're climbing over that intake bay. And these are, in my opinion, I think these are like full grown raccoons. I'm not 100% sure, but they, they look pretty large. And um, the weight of those raccoons, I mean, they've got to be fairly heavy. I, I don't know how much a raccoon weighs, but they look heavy. And the, the netting is doing a pretty good job of supporting their weight. Um, you know, the next morning after this, when I went out to the pond, the reason that I decided to check the security camera footage is because I noticed that the pond netting was sagging down a little bit, a little bit more than normal. And um, as you can see, that other raccoon is now trying to go into the big pond, um, but I think they're realizing that um, they'll fall in. So they're not actually going in all the way. Um, and that second raccoon off to the left, um, it walks all the way around the the big new pond. It's walking all the way around and somewhere around here guys You'll see um, Any second now it's going to trigger my motion did um, motion censored floodlight um, We'll see that happen any moment. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it just triggered the Motion detector on that floodlight and the the light turned on so it got brighter right there but um, yeah guys, as you can see the raccoon on the right hand side, it looks like it's trying pretty hard to get through that net. But um, as, you, as you'll see in a minute, they end up just giving up. Um, yeah, that raccoon on the left is still trying to get in the big pond. But uh, here we go guys, any second now they're gonna, they're kind of just gonna scurry away because I think they realize they're not getting in. And um, they seem way more interested in this pond because I think they're able to smell the fish or something. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know what that little uh, that little glitch right there was. I'm not sure why that happened. I have a feeling it happened because I downloaded this footage onto a memory stick that I did not format to the DVR. So that's probably my fault, but yeah, that's the footage. So like I said, luckily nothing was really damaged. They didn't get any of the fish. The net held up really well. Although I probably will need to replace this net at some point because as you can see here, there are some weak spots that I think was just created from those raccoons putting their full weight onto the net. Like, oh, like right here you can tell. Like it, as you can see, there's like this line right here where the net is just kind of stretched out there. And I think that's just from the raccoons, you know, putting their full weight on there. So the net probably is a bit weakened at this point but it totally protected the pond against those two raccoons and just to show you guys really quick um, I do have these clamps all the way around the pond but if you guys remember in the past the raccoons were still able to get in by sneaking up in between the net in these points so what I did is in between every two clamps I actually put a stake in the ground so the net is actually stuck into the ground so the raccoons can't climb up in between the clamps anymore they they 
can't lift this part of the net up. So I have that going all the way around the pond as well. So those stakes that I have going around the pond are, are a huge help as well. As you can see, I have another one right here. I have them all the way around. So yeah guys, luckily everything is good with the ponds. When it comes to me not uploading a YouTube video for a month, pretty much what happened if you guys remember my girlfriend Gabriela, she came to visit me and then we both went down to Mexico for a week down to San Luis Potosi. If you guys are familiar with that area, that's where we were. And then when I came back, I had a ton of work to do at my, I guess you could call it my day job. I had a ton of work to catch up on when I came back. Sorry guys, it was getting pretty windy out there. I'm not sure if you were able to hear me, but yeah, it more or less just turned into like a really busy month. But anyways, when it comes to 2024, the new year, there are a couple things happening in the very near future. I'm going to be at both CES in Las Vegas, and I'm also going to be at NAM in Anaheim, California near the end of the month. So if you happen to be at either of those, make sure to come by and say hi to me. And I'd just like to give you guys a huge thank you for sticking with me through 2023. As usual, I would love to give a huge shout out to the Aquamigos. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. This coming year, I actually think I found somebody who's going to help me with editing my videos. I'm hoping that he's going to be able to take over a huge chunk of my videos that I usually edit myself. So the plan, at least for this year, is that hopefully I won't have to edit so many videos myself, which will give me more time to just record videos. So hopefully everything works out according to plan. So anyways guys, once again, Happy New Year. Wishing you guys all the best. As usual, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.